people of the internet. If you don't already know me, my name is Emberly, but you can call me Ember. Today, I just wanted to share uh, my biggest regret in life. And this is not something I regret doing, it's something I regret not doing. And that's usually how it goes, right? You always regret the things that you don't do. To start this out, let me just give a little bit of backstory. So back in middle school, which was I don't even know how long ago, I am graduated from high school now and in college, so it was a long time ago. But I distinctly remember one night we had a really bad storm that knocked our power out and we had to sit in the dark for a couple of hours and while we were sitting in the dark trying to find things to do, my older brother pulled out his phone and started showing me Machine Gun Kelly and I instantly like fell in love. It was so bad that I made Young Machine Gun Kelly my background on my little iPod that I had in middle school and one time I got it taken up and my super religious math teacher saw my background after he had taken up my iPod and at the end of the day when I came to pick it up from him he was like, who is this? Anyways, that's not very relevant and I just know I was a fan since before his Lace Up album came out because I remember asking for it for my birthday. I've been a fan for years and years and years but I've never been able to go to one of his concerts because, you know, when I was younger I didn't really know to look for concert dates when people were coming on tour and stuff. Like, I was a kid, I just didn't really think to do that and there's no way my parents wanted to take me to a Machine Gun Kelly concert. But in 2017, which is this year, it was probably around January, sometime in the beginning of the year, I saw that he had some more tour dates. Um, the Atlanta one, where I live, had already passed, but he was going to be in Nashville. And I'm thinking Nashville's not that far, so like, let's go see Machine Gun Kelly in Nashville, right? So I bought my ticket right then and there. The concert wasn't for months and months. I think the concert was in May? And I bought my ticket way back whenever they went on sale. So I had my ticket for a while and there was all this anticipation building up to the show. I was like so excited, like I'm finally going to get to see Machine Gun Kelly. And since it is a general admission concert, I wanted to get there as early as I could and wait in line, even if it meant I had to be there all day, so I could get close to the stage and get a good look at him because, come on. So I went to Nashville the day before the concert because I wanted to be able to get up early and, like I said, go wait in line all day so I could get up close and get a good view of him. Since I got there the day before, I had nothing to do, so I thought I would go walk around downtown, check out like the Nashville scene because I hadn't really been there since I was really little. Um, I guess it did kind of cross my mind, like, what if he's already in town? What if I see him at, like, one of these bars or something? Like, that would just be incredible. So that did kind of cross my mind, but I wasn't necessarily looking for him while I was out. I was more just people watching, things like that. I did go to the place where Little Mix and Machine Gun Kelly shot their music video for No More Sad Songs. It was not open at the time, but it was cool just to like go out there and see it. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I wasn't necessarily looking for him as I was walking around downtown Nashville. I just kind of had in the back of my mind like how cool would it be if he was here. And then he tweeted something. I forget exactly what the tweet says. I might insert a picture of it if I go back and find it, but it was something along the lines of he was getting on a midnight flight to come to Nashville. So in my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. If he's in Los Angeles, and that's two hours behind Nashville time, and he gets on a flight at 12 o'clock Los Angeles time, that would be 2 o'clock Nashville time, and I think it took, I think the flight was about four hours from Los Angeles to Nashville, so that would make him get in at like 6 a.m. And the thought crossed my mind, I thought, what if I, you know, go to the hotel, get some rest, wake up really, really early and go meet him at the airport just so I can, like, give him a hug and, like, tell him how incredible he is. Which, I mean, he already knows that, but still. If I were to do that, I could have gone back to the hotel after I went to the airport and gotten more sleep and then just kind of went to the show around the time it was starting rather than getting there early in the morning. Because, you know, if I met him 
it wouldn't be as important to me to be like right up front at the show because like I can enjoy the show from the back of the stage. I just wanted a really good look at him because it was the first time I was seeing him like in person. I don't exactly know what my thought process was but for some reason I told myself that I should get up early and go to the venue instead of the airport. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun getting to sit outside with all the other Machine Gun Kelly fans. I was literally there from 9 a.m. until when the doors opened, I think at like 7 something, 7 p.m. ish. Even though I was like dying, it was so hot. And it was definitely worth it because I was really, really close to the stage and I got a really good view of him. But looking back at it, I'm really, really upset that I didn't just go to the airport. Like, <sighs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? If I could redo anything in my life, I would go back to that moment and I would go to the airport. I'm really, really mad at myself about that and it's been about six months since that happened and I'm still upset and I don't think I'm ever gonna get over it. Rarely ever do celebrities tweet out like when their flight is gonna be because then you're gonna have tons of people like come to the airport. Which he didn't tweet like when he was getting into Nashville but since, you know, I'm kind of crazy and I did the math. Like that is such a rare thing to happen. It would be different if he did that like at every city and I had multiple, like I could just go to another show, another city, meet him at the airport, but it's not like that. Like I, I truly feel like that was a once in a lifetime opportunity for him to like tweet that and then me just not go. My goal was never to like go to the airport in the early morning and like ambush him with like a camera and taking pictures and stuff. Like I literally like just wanted to hug him and be like, hey, you don't know me, but like I love you. To this day, that is still my biggest regret and I genuinely do not think I'm ever going to get over it. I really do hope that I actually get the chance to meet him one day to make up for how stupid I am for not going to the airport. But until that day, I guess I'll just keep watching him through a screen. Which is great, don't get me wrong, it's great, but... Okay, so that is all for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and go check out my other videos. And tweet this video to Machine Gun Kelly because maybe he'll see it and maybe the next time he comes to Atlanta he'll feel bad for me and let me give him a hug. <laughs> I swear I'm not crazy, it's fine. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.